Hey guys, welcome back to Paradise. So we got another question down on the queue about our dogs and how do they do in the desert with the cactus? And when we first started coming to Arizona, we were worried about the same thing and how they were going to fare with it, uh, seeing that they've uh, they've never seen cactus before in their life. But um, they actually did, um, at first they were, it was actually a little rough, um, but uh, now they're actually really good. They, I don't know if they could smell it or see it or something, but they learned to avoid Pretty much all the cactuses when we go for a walk and we're usually off walking in the kind of the boonies with no trail or no road and uh yeah they they avoid it all they randomly get like some pickup ones that are just like kind of sprinkled on the ground but they learn to stop and just put their paw up and then we can get it out and use the comb or whatever just our hands to pull them out but they actually do uh really good so i don't know if again that's just our dogs or if that's every dog would kind of learn just to learn what hurts them and then kind of avoid it but um so we're out here now, like, so you got the prickly pear, those are pretty much never an issue. You got the barrel cactus, that's usually never an issue. They don't really have too many um, problems with it. But the, uh, let's see, <clears throat> the big one that you're probably going to have issues with is this one right here, which is the choya. And there's a, there's a lot of different kinds of them, but um, this one over here, that one's more like a, that's a choya also, but that's more like a, a stag horn or a whipple choya. This one is more like a jumping choya or a teddy bear choya. And they form, they fall off in these little balls of, of spines pretty much. And then they, they blow around and they fall apart all over. So it'll be all over the ground and you really won't be able to avoid it and you won't realize it until you're in it. So they've learned to just kind of avoid those things completely and they'll go all the way around and they pretty much make their own path, which works out pretty well. So that's the big one that you got to watch out for because once they get in, they're kind of a pain to get out, especially with dogs. So if you use a comb, it works out all right, but you just have to be able to get your dog to stand still for a second in order to get them. And they usually get them in their paws. And then if they get them in their paws, they're probably going to try to bite them out and then they get them in their mouth, which we had happened. So um, not a fun situation. So if you're brain ring your dog down and uh, you think they might happen, make sure to bring a comb first off, make sure to have some benefits a drill second off so you can kind of knock them out if they do get one in their mouth and then tweezers are always good or pliers and then if you if you just don't want to deal with it just make sure to keep your dogs on a leash or keep them away from the choya um, but they usually kind of glow like that so you can they're pretty easy to uh, to spot but also another thing that is a pain which most people i don't really think think about when they come down to the desert are um let's see is this one um yeah there we go um, are they're called acacia uh, acacia plants so there's lots of different acacias there's a sweet acacia there's a cat claw acacia there's lots of them but they're just little bushes like these ones right here and they are a pain they're, they'll destroy your clothing they'll destroy anything that wants to run through it so if you go slow you might be able to get through it but running is definitely not an, uh, a good thing and dogs like to run so our dogs usually get into like these things and look at these Let's see if I can grab it without hurting myself look at those spines on there so this is, um, this is more like a, a sweet acacia, but it's got the, the straight spines on it. Um, but yeah, they are, they are prickly. Holy smokes. They'll just grab you. But there's ones in our cat called cat claw acacia that are literally the spines like that. And it'll just grab you and rip your clothing apart. So those ones you need to keep out for. Um, but you know, when you're walking, just try to stay kind of in the open, just stay away from the plants and everything. It usually works out pretty well. And obviously... There's snakes down here also, so when it gets warm out, make sure to avoid putting your feet next to plants and stuff like that. But that's kind of the uh, the short slash long story about how our dogs do in the cactus. So um, if your dogs uh, hang out in the in the desert area, we'd like to know if your guys' dogs uh, kind of learn to avoid the cactus too, or if that's just like a, a random things that our dogs pointed uh, picked up. But we thought it was kind of cool, so now we don't really have to worry about it that much, and we can go walk with them everywhere, and they kind of avoid it themselves. But Anyways, hope that answered your question. If you guys have any more questions, you know, make sure to leave them in the comments below. We'll get to them sooner or later. So thanks for the question, guys. Thanks for following. We'll see you guys next time.